Radial neuromobilization, in tension and out of tension. The goal of this intervention is to maintain nerve mobility and expand the functional zone following the nerve injury. This may change both the mechanical and physiological functions of the nerve. Indications for neuromobilization can include poor posture or immobilization leading to an adaptive shortening of the neural structures, injury resulting in scarring or adhesions, compression injuries, or signs and symptoms of neural involvement. Contraindications can include spinal cord injury, an acute traumatic nerve injury, hypersensitivity, or an unstable pathology. Tissues involved in this treatment are the nerves, the structures surrounding the tissues, such as the neural sheath, and any possible adhesions. As the nerve bed length lengthens, the nerves are placed under greater tension, especially with movements such as contralateral cervical side flexion. Nerve sliding utilizes the nerve's viscoelastic properties to lengthen the nerve and physiologic properties to increase the blood supply and axoplasmatic flow. Expected outcomes include a widening of the functional zone and potentially a decrease in pain intensity and frequency with neuromobilization over three weeks. Intensity should be out of tension with no symptom reproduction or in tension with symptom reproduction. Duration should be 10 to 60 seconds at, or as tolerated by the patient. Amplitude should be slow and rhythmic. There should be 1 to 10 repetitions depending on nerve irritability and frequency should be one to five times per day depending on nerve irritability. Patients should be positioned in supine with the upper extremity off of the table. Elbows should start fully flexed and shoulder abducted to 10 degrees. Then you depress the shoulder, extend the elbow, internally rotate the shoulder and pronate the forearm, flex the wrist and fingers, then abduct the, sh the shoulder. Ask the patient to side bend cerv their cervical spine. An intention mobilization is then applied at one joint within the sequence with symptom reproduction. An out of tension mobilization is performed at one joint in the sequence with no symptom reproduction. You can also do a flossing technique in which you mobilize by slacken slackening one end of the nerve and tensioning the other with no symptom reproduction. Depending on patient presentation, you should start with an out of tension technique and progress to an intention technique. You should increase the duration, amplitude, and repetitions with time and increase the tension on the nerve by adding more movement components. You should reassess the symptoms after every treatment. We will now be demonstrating the radial nerve mobilization treatment in and out of tension. Sarah, to address some of those symptoms that you've been having going down your arm, I'm going to help assess the length of the nerve called the radial nerve and then I'm going to use a treatment that gently moves through that nerve in the surrounding tissues to help move that nerve a little bit easier, decrease some of your symptoms, and possibly lengthen that nerve, okay? All right. So what we're going to do first is have you laying just on your back as you are, slightly on a diagonal so your arm is nearly off the table. And I want to let you know that this may reproduce your symptoms. I want you to let me know what you're feeling throughout this treatment, okay? So what you're first going to do is start out with the test position. You want the shoulder in about 10 degrees of abduction. The elbow should be fully flexed. And the therapist will take their hand and forearm, depress the patient's shoulder girdle, then extend the elbow. Doing all right? Internally rotate the arm, pronate the forearm, fully flex the wrist and the fingers. We're going to then start to abduct the arm watching for symptom reproduction. Let me know what you're feeling. Yeah, I feel a stretch on my forearm. Okay, so the patient feels pulling along their arm. To confirm that that's the radial nerve, you're gonna ask the patient to bring their left ear to their left shoulder. How yeah. does that feel? Uh, it, it's more. So it increases the symptoms. So now that we've confirmed that that is the radial nerve, to perform an out of tension nerve mobilization, I'm going to back off the point of tension just a little bit and perform small oscillations out of the zone of symptom reproduction. How are you feeling? Good. Yeah. Good. 
We could do these oscillations at the shoulder, the elbow, or the wrist. And depending on patient tolerance, you could do large oscillations or small oscillations. From here, we could also perform an intention mobilization. So Sarah, I'm going to bring your arm up again. I want you to let me know when that pulling comes back. Yeah, there. OK. So you hold the patient at the point of tension and go just a little bit further into the tension. How are you feeling? Yeah, it feels, I feel more, more of a pull. OK. It's, good. it's not uncomfortable? No. Good. Again, you could perform this at the shoulder, the elbow, or the wrist. You could also have the patient just perform a sensitizing movement at their neck. So I'm going to hold at that point of tension, and I want you to bring your left ear to your left shoulder and back. And repeat that. Good. And relax. How are you feeling? Good. Good. And then you would reassess your patient.